All right, I mentioned earlier about, in the last video, about adding two materials together. So here I have one of the materials that are out of ZBrush right here. And what I've added is a little bit more punch to it on the other material by adding another ZBrush material on top. Okay. This is very easy to do. Very easy. So what I do is I go back and I'll show you exactly how this works is it all starts back at the plane level. So here's my plane. And as long as I have my original texture, hopefully I do, here's my original texture. And what it looks like is this right now because I have a matte cap. Now, what I want to do is just simply go in and switch my material. So I can, I can do a cavity and put a cavity on top of that. And if you wanted to just put the material itself on there, well, that has a lot to do with your shadowing information. Do you want your shadows still baked in? Well, I, you know, that's up to you. If you hit shadows, it's going to darken it up quite a bit. Um, I think I just want cavity information. Okay. So I'm going to uncheck shadows. That's up to you. You know, it's one of those things that you got to make a decision about. But what I want to do is projection master color shaded, drop now, and then projection masters color shaded, pick up now. And that will add just the darker regions and that's it. Okay. So now what I can do is go back to my texture map, clone that out. And then I got that. I can go to my sphere and I can mount that new texture in here. And it's going to look like this. And that's what you see back in Maya is I just exported this back out as a new MA file. And then I brought it in using the import feature. And if I want to bring that one in, this one, this one, I use the shadow information. So this next one might look a little different. There's that Maya lag that I keep getting. Oh, oh cancel. I'm going to go file import. That's what I want. I want to import the new Maya 2 MA ball. And then under one of these is a new sphere. There we go. So slight difference between the two. This one's a little shinier than this one. But I love being able to bake materials on top of materials like that. that that's a very, very nifty thing to do. There's no doubt about it. And you can see all the different textures in here. Definitely does look like a leather or a brain or something. Nice. And here it is without the cavity shading information. So you can see that this is at the mercy of whatever shadowing information I have here in Maya. Sure, I could add some lights. I could probably get the same effect. But this one's baked overall. So, yeah, you'll never get this to look like this ever. All right, so have a good one. I hope you enjoyed that little um, add-on to the lesson, and have a good one.